Good day, everyone. We continue with the computation of the non-parametric statistics tests using an Excel template. The non-parametric statistics test to be presented in this video is the Spearman Rank Correlation Coefficient. The Spearman Rank Correlation Coefficient is the non-parametric counterpart of the Pearson product moment correlation. This is used when the assumption of the Pearson coefficient is not met. The Spearman rank correlation coefficient is a non-parametric statistic that uses ranks to determine if there is a relationship between two variables. This is the formula for computing the Spearman rank correlation coefficient, and this is used in the Excel template. The example that will be used in this video in the computation for Spearman rank correlation coefficient comes from the book authored by Alan Blumann entitled Elementary Statistics A Step by Step Approach. Copyrighted 2018. Example 13-7 is entitled Bank Branches and Deposits. A researcher wishes to see if there is a relationship between the number of branches a bank has and the total number of deposits in billions of dollars the bank receives. A sample of eight regional banks is selected and the number of branches and the amount of deposits are shown in the table. At alpha equals 0 0.05, is there a significant linear relation between correlation between the number of branches and the amount of deposits? Here we are given a table of three columns. The first column are the names or codes of the banks. The second column is the number of branches. And the third column gives the deposits in billions of dollars. The next thing to consider here is the alpha, 0 0.05. We're given alpha of 0 0.05. Then we encode this data in our Excel template. Our Excel template has two worksheets. One worksheet or the first worksheet is for the data to be encoded. The second worksheet is for the computation of the Spearman rank correlation. Since I encoded the data previously, I just have to copy the data and paste it into the Excel template. The next data group of data is for the deposits in billions of dollars and paste it in the next Column. The next step to do is to encode under the I column in the blue cells, copy, encode the D squared values. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, one, and we are done copying the d squared values under or in the i column. Let's proceed to the computation, the worksheet on the computation of the Spearman correlation coefficient. We are asked of the level of significance given in the problem, and this is zero. 0.05 Now 
The last cell colored blue asks for the critical value from table L using the significance level of 0 0.05 and number of pairs 8. This is table L of the text in page 789. N8 0.05 is 0 0.738. 0 0.738 to be included. And we have the entries to be used in the Excel template. The decision on the null hypothesis is reject, which means that in the problem, the number of branches of the banks and the deposits in billions of dollars, we are going to reject the null hypothesis that they are not related, which means that they are linearly correlated. So this is also the answer of the text. So non hypothesis to be rejected. But enough evidence to say that there's a linear relationship between the number of branches a bank has and the deposits of the bank. This is how my Excel template computes the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient test. Thank you very much. God bless you all. To God be the glory.